One reason that we feel the Hot Heart is a game changer is because we are proposing affordable, reliable thermal energy storage at an unprecedented scale. My name is James Schrader. I was project manager for our Helsinki's Hot Heart project, and I am also the director of Carlo Ratti Associati's New York office. The Hot Heart is our prize-winning proposal for the Helsinki Energy Challenge, which was a design competition for how to decarbonize the district heating system of Helsinki by 2030. The only way to decarbonize a district heating system, of course, is to use renewable energy. There are times when there's excess production of energy. So we need to find a way to store the renewable energy when it's readily available and then save it for when it's needed. To do that, we proposed a giant array of thermal storage basins floating on the sea outside Helsinki, which would hold 10 million cubic meters of water. The energy would be stored in the water as heat. So the hot heart that we proposed acts like a, a plug-in system. On one side, whatever energy sources are most available at the time will power seawater heat pumps to heat the water in the basin. And then on the other side, the basins can plug directly into the existing district heating system, transferring their heat into the existing system as needed without much need for a retrofitting. And as a bonus, the system has the added benefit of helping to balance the electrical grid of Finland by taking excess energy that's produced but not needed during low demand times, such as the middle of the night. The infrastructure we're building do double duty as a destination for people of the city and visitors as unique and wonderful floating forests destination that uses the seawater and piggybacks on the infrastructure to create a place where people can engage with it and spend time so that they understand the systems that are powering the city and have more of an awareness of what goes on behind the scenes. The Helsinki model that we've designed for this could be relevant for other cities as well. Creating new public spaces, new ways of engaging with the city and the environment, could all lead to a new generation of infrastructure that is part of the city rather than hidden.